in a container, I would suggest a nice large container like this one so that it would have enough room to develop its fruits. A suggestion that I, I usually use is take a tomato cage and set it right down in the pot to help the plants stay erect. And of course there's a lot of soil around there and what I do at home is I plant uh, thyme, oregano, parsley, uh, some of the uh, smaller type of herbs around the bottom and then I can harvest that at all times. You can also plant maybe some marigolds around it uh, just for some color. My favorite tomato is a San Marzano tomato. It's a Roma type tomato. If you like aroma for like sauces or for your salsa, usually you choose aroma and the aromas are, are about um, the three inches long. The San Marzano is a, like five or six inches long with not as many seeds in them. And I really enjoy that and I slice it for uh, sandwiches or use it in salads. It's a multi-purpose uh, tomato and I would suggest you trying that this year. My other favorite is the Rutgers and that's a medium sized tomato. Very few seeds again, but very juicy and very uh, tasty. Uh, for a low acid tomato, I'd suggest either the Lemon Boy or the Carolina Gold. And there are some little yellow grape type tomatoes out there that are just as sweet and tasty and make your salads look pretty too. So when you're trying your different varieties, make sure you save your tags so you know what you are growing from one year to the next. And if you have a salsa recipe you'd like to share with me, Send it, send it in to skh.com.